Welcome to Warrior Collective and I am Julie Kitchen, also known as the Queen of Muay Thai or JK. Uh, I've got 14 world titles, now retired, uh, but I'm still in the game, I'm still teaching seminars. I also work for Infusion, I'm co-host on their reality show and commentator on their live shows, which you can watch and register for free at infusionlive.com. So make sure you tune in. Um, this is my tutorial today, we're doing a short one, um, just in clinch position working the elbows um, in very close. So if you've watched a few of my other tutorials, we've worked on closing that distance from long range into short range. So now we're in the clinch, and it's all about controlling the arms of your opponent. So if you can't always get this major grip here with one hand uh, on top of the other one on the crown, you can control the inside of the bicep or the outside. You've watched outside ones before and how we can control the arm, but tonight, we're going to be here inside the bicep. Okay, so in clinch, we want to keep in tight. We want to keep our head to our head and also leg to leg. So if he moves his leg, I can feel that the thigh's moved away from mine and he's going to probably throw a knee. So I can be ready for it. I can pull my body back or I can counter it. So from here, in the clinch, we've got to stand a little bit more square on as well from here. So now I'm in control of this arm. What I'd like to do when we're throwing the elbows is be in control, so one hand on top of the head. This will enable me to be in control of the head as well. I can step down, I can still pull down from here. If my hand's in the right position, it's easier to pull down. If it was on the neck, I wouldn't be able to pull it down, so make sure it's here. From here, I can pull my body back, my hand's on the bicep, I can let go, and I can bring over the hooking elbow here. The same as if I was on the outside of the arm, I push down on the bicep, and as I push down, again coming over. Also, from this position, I'm in main, main lock here with my left arm, which I will just turn here. But from here, I can throw a really small elbow. With elbows, they've only got to be small and they'll cut. You haven't got to be coming from a big distance to get that speed and power. They just have to be little knocks. So here, you can release and then just push up through on the face and then back. I've seen really recently nasty cuts across here and this is what causes them. So from here you can just let go. You can use your elbow even on their chest to create the space and then drop it up, coming up and then back in. The same here, over the bicep, pushing down, coming through. Or if you're on the inside, again pushing up or hooking it in. Thank you, Mike. So it's really basic stuff, it's just little tweaks that make the elbows connect nicely, the little steps and little hand movements. So go back into your gym, have a practice, be careful with elbows, they're very dangerous. And for more videos, have a look at Warrior Collective or myself, judykitchen.com, or my athlete page on Facebook. So thank you for joining.